Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Today we're talking about stuff that sells. You know, I'm not just like a laser reviewer or something like that. I actually use my laser every day and uh, or lasers and I make stuff and I sell it. I sell digital files, but uh, I sell physical files and I'm getting ready to do a show and I have to think, okay, I'm probably going to sell about $10,000 worth of stuff at this show. I, over time, you get to figure out what shows to do and which ones you make money at. And there is a lot to it. You're probably not going to go out your first show and make 10 grand. But you need to, you know, work the steps up. Because there's a lot to it. And I'm going to get into some of that right now. And I'm going to be doing more videos as this show uh, comes up and uh, after the show to let you know how this all works and what's the best practices. But one of the most important things, the thing I have to deal with right now, what am I going to bring? What am I going to sell? And the thought process of, hey, it's not just what I want to make necessarily, although I do some of that. Uh, it's a, what... It's the practical side, right? Because last year I did really well at this show. I think it did like $8,000 or whatever, but I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of things that take too much time and uh, aren't worth, you know, how the packaging you have to do, the way you have to sell it, the way you have to present it. You go through all of these things and you say, okay, was that worth it? Was it not worth it? I mean, some things like this coffee, I'll bring it up, uh, the coffee sign that I made last year, people really loved it and it's great, but it takes like four days to make this thing just because of not four full days, of course, but four partial days because each coat of paint, you have to let it dry and then you have to get all the layers together and they all have to match up perfectly. You have to glue them just right. It's a process. And so not probably worth it, even though I really like them. So th there are criteria that I use to go through this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start right now and say, without a doubt, my number one bestseller that I don't even have to think about when I bring out is these Lord's Prayer crosses. And I've, I've brought them up before. I do a step-by-step -step video on all of these things I'm going to tell you. I do a step-by-step -step video showing you how to do this, how to make them, what to do, what not to do, yada, yada, yada. So instead of like getting a sponsor, uh, you know, this is the best way to support the channel. I made a pack that has all of my best sellers in it. And these are all tested. I mean, they're, they're not just something I just threw up on Etsy. People have bought these, they've tested them, they work. And uh, the Lord's Prayer Cross, without a doubt, my best seller. I, I sell it in several different ways. In fact, the way this file is made, you can sell it at, with a stand. You could sell it as a wall mount. You could sell it, which way I really like, is uh, actually in a... That's the one thing you have to worry about the most is messing these up. But you see how big this is? This probably go for like $80. You know, uh, this big, I, I was doing the, the, you know, that's a 16 by 20. I hadn't done one of those yet. I've been doing the 11 by 14s. I, I, I put two sizes in the, uh, in the file and uh, what, the small one fits perfectly in here. I'll show you pictures of that that I took out in a show uh, late last year. So the file will allow you to make any of those different ones. You have to do some, your settings, of course. But uh, they all sell super, super well. No doubt about it. Uh, people just love them. Uh, and even with the file, I've sold, you know, hundreds. So that comes with the pack, of course. And I would highly recommend that one. Leather, leather wallets. Uh, I would say that surprising. I really didn't, uh, I, I underestimated how much these wallets would sell because, you know, hey, they cost a lot, right? I'm charging from $65 to $80 a piece on these wallets. And 
I just thought, oh, you know, people are going to want to go to Ross or whatever and just buy a cheap, uh, you know, $5 wallet. And why would they want to buy a leather wallet anymore? But they still seem to be very popular and they're so fun to make. I really just have, I just have a great time doing it. I like to watch videos <laughs> just like mine. I like to watch videos for, on lasers and different things. And I'm able to just sit and watch those videos and make the wallets. You know, I cut them out with the laser and then I can just hand sew them while I'm, you, you could be watching TV. I, I prefer to watch videos on YouTube and, uh, you know, I'll sit there and sew. And it's a very Zen feeling. It's overall, I just love it. I love doing it. This is like my original wallet that I made years ago. Still using it. They're fantastic. And uh, I, of course, I have a step-by-step -step video on how to do that. Super popular. I also have a minimalist wallet because those are pretty popular now as well. And uh, those are really fun to make. And doing all the different colors and different things. It's just a very rewarding process. And if you go through and you make all the ones in this pack, you are going to now be able to take that and make all of your own stuff. Because each one of these projects, uh, you know, they always lead to something else, right? So the next one I'm going to say is the Mother's Day roses or just the rose. I have a Mother's Day pack uh, where, as you can see on the screen there, you have a card, um, easy to make cards surprisingly enough as long as your laser is reasonably clean uh you can make cards pretty easily and so if you learn how to make this one you'll be able to do your own custom cards and i think that's also very rewarding i've done christmas cards as well and then i do these roses see i cut out the back this is just mdf and then i you know maybe you do some uh just whatever kind of wood some uh birch uh, plywood for the front. Uh, I paint them and then just glue them together. And they make a super nice little rose. And they just, they sell so, so quickly. Um, this, I put this together with the, the Mother's Day cards in the pack. The next thing I would say is uh, bottle openers. Now, I spent a lot of time making this design. <laughs> well, yeah, the, the Mother's Day card as well. But um, a lot of these designs, you know, I spent a, a ton of time, not just the designs themselves, proudly made in the USA. People love these. And the mountains, you know, they always look really nice. And again, this is a file that has uh, changed over time and gotten better and better. And I just used uh, hardwood I get all my wood from Craft Closet. I'll leave a you know link in the description for that. And uh, I prefer to use the uh, f just wood, not plywood, to make these because I like to sand the edges. And I just think with the deep engraving, it just looks better. It is a little bit more expensive, uh, but I can mix and match woods. Uh, cherry, although this is a uh, this is a maple one right here, but the cherry really really looks good on the flags. I even uh, mixed in some acrylic on one of them. And uh, I think it looks pretty good, you know? People really like it, so. Lots of things you could do with the bottle openers. You basically go to Amazon. I have the full video on how to do this, uh, so that'll be in the description. But these are seven inch uh, steel bottle openers that you get from Amazon buy the large packs and then the wood is glued to both sides and it really got a lot of heft to it. You really feel like you got something and uh, people really love them. And they make great gifts as well. Now, you don't have to just do the designs that I put in the pack. You know, you can add and make your own designs. And I have done lots of custom ones for different restaurants and places like that. Um, so that, or bars or wine places, you know, each one's going to have one to have their logo and maybe the bartender's name or something on there. I've been able to do that for uh, several different places and, uh, that works out pretty darn well. Uh, and the last thing that I'm going to go over is 
keychains and coasters, you know, coasters, keychains. Now, uh, with the keychain pack that I give you, you can literally just resize those to uh, a cork size and uh, make them into coasters. Super, super easy. Uh, it will come with the corgis. It comes with the kit, the yin yang kitties. Two animals sell really, really well. It's just anything that goes with pets. Uh, I happen to just think corgis are cute. Uh, so corgis, I make uh, corgi chains and people just love them. You know, corgi butts, whatever. And the yin yang kitties, you know, lots of cat lovers out there. Um, so it, not only that, there's two reasons. There, I mean, let's say there's a few reasons why uh, I have this keychain bundle and it's something that I put on my best sellers and I always have out. Because, and I've said this in many videos, a lot of times people will come and they'll look at all of your stuff, but they really can't afford to buy something, you know, maybe a $60 wallet or $70 wallet. Or a $30 oh, Lord's Prayer cross where they're not into that sort of thing. But they want to get something from you because they appreciate your work. And a lot of times they'll just look at your keychain. They'll go, oh, I can give that to a friend. And they'll hand you five bucks. I sell these uh, cord chains for $5 each. And I have sold thousands and thousands of them. And they're easy to make. They're very quick. And I do show you how to do that. They're two-sided. They look really nice. Again, you can use your scraps. So also uh, there is, along with the keychains, there is a thing called a round to it. And it's basically what I use for a business card. So you'll have that. So pretty much with this pack, you're going to have everything you need to start a small business Definitely, you know, going to your local markets. And then from those markets, what you're going to do is you're going to find out from the people who are at those markets where the really good markets are. Because a lot of times when it comes to like a farmer's market or your weekly market, it's not a lot of people are just walking around and looking or whatnot. They're not doing a lot of major buying. But there are certain markets that you know, you are going to be able to sell a lot at. And so you want to look at ones that are maybe two days long and the entrance fee isn't too high, but they have a lot of traffic. And over time, you will figure out what those are. You know, I started out doing weekly shows and then pretty soon I found that it was better for me to do quarterly or eight times a year and sell more at each show. And then concentrate on making videos and making files for Etsy and whatnot. So um, that's kind of where it's at. So I, I really stand behind these files. I think they're really good. They have stood the test of time as far as uh, they work. I know they work because I use them myself in my own business. So I also, if you have anything that sell, please post it below. Let people know, hey, you know, maybe you should try this or that, or this works really well for me. I noticed that the um, whiskey smokers seem to sell really well for people. I, that's just not what I'm into as far as selling, but that's a good thing to sell. Uh, there's a lot of really great products out there, and I just can't do all of them. But these seem to be the ones that are working for me, and my these are my core. And, you know, for the roses, I'll change them up and, you know, make them say whatever they need to say. But mom is always good because, you know, people always love to get a, a rose for their mom, maybe one that says love or something like that. Lots of ways to go. And, of course, you can make cards for any occasion. Uh, one of the other things I'd say, one of the, my major expenses is actually... Oh, and I, I wanted to note that when it comes to buying those shadow box frames, you know, I get them on sale. When they're on sale, I buy a bunch. But protecting them is one of the most important things. Putting them somewhere they don't get damaged. And then once you're finished with it, bubble wrap. See, this is a 24-inch bubble wrap. I actually found that it was cheaper at Home Depot than it was on Amazon. 
and just get the biggest rolls you can because I go through it like crazy. It's it's a large expense to be able to use the bubble wrap, but at the same time, it saves me from damaging uh, these things when I get them done, when I'm transporting them to shows. Uh, and it really sucks when you spend all of that time making something and then you damage it and then you can't sell it. So think about protecting your stuff. This isn't really a full on video about like everything you do for a show. I will, I have done those in the past, but I will be doing more again, like I said, because I am starting to do shows again this year. I will be doing reminder videos, not just for myself, but for everybody out there on the things to think about and how you can maximize uh, what you're doing and how you can just do the whole business on a diode laser. It is very, very possible to do that these days. And I happen to have the Rolly Lasermatic, which I absolutely love because I can depend on it. You know, when I know that it's not going to break down on me halfway, uh, you know, before the show. But uh, I'm not going to get into that too much. This, uh, please uh, take the links. Uh, you can buy each file individually for a couple of bucks, or you could support the channel and just buy the whole pack for eight. And I would really appreciate that. Like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And let me know what you want to know so that I can make a video on it especially when it comes to starting your own business. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Love you all.